So, I am here at Mission Street in San Francisco. Now, um, I sort of, I don't know, I just got inspired to come here. I did another video on a street in Chicago called Division Street about, um, you know, uh, how the ego divides us, keeps us se separated from source. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description below on that video. So I guess uh, I'm, I'm creating a street, uh, uh, spiritual street meditations. And so th this one is Mission, right? I just love that name, Mission. And right there, Mission. So Mission Street. So we're going to walk down Mission Street. And um, I looked on the map. Uh, and there's a actual mission. Hopefully we'll end up at the mission uh, after, at the end of the walk. So I just want to walk down here. And actually, I think this, I may have been here before. Not sure. I don't remember too much. But so Mission Street. So I just like, I, I love the word mission because it has a couple of meanings. Okay. So just looking at the interesting artwork and the interesting um, advertisements. <laughs> Oh, I like this. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Right there. Follow your heart. Spread the love. Spread the love. I love that. And a perfect slice of heaven, I guess. I just see that now. Perfect slice of heaven. Follow your heart. Sprinkle some joy. You see that? Sprinkle some joy, but the... Uh, See. They're part of the part of the why. God, to, but sprinkle. So yeah. So when you're present, you know, even though this kind of looks like it's a little, uh, <laughs> it's a little grudgier neighborhood. But that's okay because this is life, right? This is life. There's ex acceptance. There's beauty in in the most. The richest neighborhoods, the poorest neighborhoods, the, you know, middle neighborhoods, whatever, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's, it, uh, in the world of form there and egos can, there could be a lot of judgment, but when you're, when you're not separated from source, when you're present with what is you, this is, it's beautiful, right? Because everybody here is a beautiful manifestation of source, right? And when you're present, you spread the love. When you're present and when you heal yourself, you spread the love, right? Uh, naturally, right? Just by being, just by being a being, being someone who, who has no judgments who has no enemies because no one's an enemy here right we are all one so you sprinkle some joy and follow your heart and following your heart to me is following what's what's true to your innermost being right and doing and then doing follow your heart follow your bliss as Joseph Campbell says uh, so that is a that's something that after you awakening after you awaken and have an awakening you uh, end up end up sort of naturally falling into like me doing this these videos I'm following my heart following my heart this used to be a, uh, a a movie theater. Now it's a uh, now it's a parking garage. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think it was a movie theater here. So, 
So change happens. It's a movie theater, now, now parking lot. Actually, this painting caught my eye. This woman who... So this is sort of like egoic consciousness. Is that we carry another head, the ego, inside of us, right? And that... And look, at she kind of looks a little, like, lost. Sort of, like, numbed. Like, what am I doing? You know, what's what's... What is this? What is this in existence all about? When you live from egoic consciousness, it's, a t it's actually a tale of two heads, right? A tale of two heads. And then you get, okay, be mindful, always watch, watch both, both ways. And then what you, your head, look at this. If the egoic, it feels like, it feel, feels like knives are all, always in your head, always in your thinking, right? Because you're all, always creating enemies. And not only en you know enemies of others, but yourself too. Because the, the mind is constantly at war with itself, right? But when you die to, your, when, die to yourself, when you... When you... Um, when the self... Is, is no longer there and you're just watching the mind and you're not caught up into it you you reach heaven you see that the little heaven you reach enlightenment so yeah so that's that's where we're going All right and then life becomes jewels. Your life becomes a jewel. You find the gem of your truth inside you. So, yeah, so we're on Mission Street. Mission Street. So, I, 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 so the, the, the mission, the, the two, word, or two interpretations that come to mind right, aw right, right away is what is your mission? Okay, what's your spiritual mission in this incarnation? That's one. And the other one is how are you going to serve? A mission is a, I think Catholic missions, but I think all religions have missions in one degree or another. And the, the, they're, they're, you know, churches that are for the people that are there to help people, right? It's a mission, right? And uh, so as, as you awaken, what's your, what's your mission as in like w w to do out there and, and are, you know, is it, is your mission to be a mission? And in a way, that's how, that's how I feel. I feel that in my own small way of, do, of doing these videos, I'm at, uh, I, this is a mission of, that, of mine that came to me uh, in the winter of 2020 when um, I got sick and I, and I was like, what am I? What am I going to do? You know, it, it, what the source want me to do? And then I decided to start making these videos. This is actually a very pretty. Look at, see beauty. The beauty bar. Everyone, everyone here is a beautiful manifestation of source. Everyone has their beauty, right? Everyone has their beauty. All shapes, sizes, colors, whatnot, genders, non-genders. Everyone has a gift to give. All right. It is yours to share? What's your mission? To share music? To share a business? 
the share market, all right? What's your mission? See? And make things, are you gonna make, are you gonna make life a fiesta bowl? A cel I think fiesta is like a, a celebration, right? Because life is a celebration, right? Uh, adventures, adv life's an adventure. So, so, so what's the mission? What's your mission? Um, and I would say, if this is just a suggestion. I don't tell people what they should do. I suggest things or suggest meditations and so forth. But if, if you haven't had an awakening yet, your mission <laughs> should be to awaken. <laughs> awaken to your true eternal self. That would be a, to me, that's the, the, the reason we're here is to wake up. So that should be a mission. And if you're watching this, then I'm, you, you, you probably are on a mission, right? On a mission, I'm just looking here, to awaken, right? To, to awaken, to get the zap of sh Shazam for bat, the bat signal, right? You, you, you're waiting for the bat signal. And it's here, it's here right now. I keep, I, I actually try to keep droning that in or, or repeating that it, is that it's all here right now. You know, this is a walking meditation for me. And this is, presence is here right now. The eternal here is right now. It, it, it it's, it's here. It's always here. Wherever you're here, wherever you are at, it's there. Yeah. It's always there. It's never not there. <sighs> right. So the mission. So what's your mission? And, and as you continue on your spiritual growth in your path, um, what, uh, 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 what's your mission to serve? You know, to, to help others. I think they call it a, uh, a bodhisattva, right? A bodhisattva, right? A bodhisattva, somebody who helps uh, those who are asleep or helps those who have awakened with the uh, spiritual path, with the, um, with the pitfalls and the, uh, the, the, the problems and the pain bodies and the, the shadows and the, the dark night of the soul and all of that stuff. Right. So mission. So I'm gotten off Mission Street. So we're walking a little. And there's the dark, you know that, and the Bodhisattvas help, and the spiritual teachers help with the darkness, with with the darkness that that must be faced. You know, at least I think uh, uh, good spiritual teachers help face that, help you face that, or at least point you in that direction. Now. Yeah, so what's your mission? Right, and as you awaken, you see that tree behind me. Right there, you flower. 
you flower. Purple too. Purple is the crown chakra color symbolizing enlightenment. Yeah. Yeah, so so mission and mission is like um the the churches are so this spirituality is beyond religion. It's 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 I just use churches as a metaphor for the sacred, right? And the sacred is is here. It's everywhere. Huh. Right? And it's everywhere. Right? It's it's here. It's in everyone. It's in everything. Even the grungiest grungiest it's there because everything is a manifestation of sort so here we're on another street just a block away and uh it looks uh it looks a little nicer at least in the world of form wise so that's interesting because that's that's a uh Good metaphor of letting you know that you could be feeling really grungy, you could be feeling uh, spiritually bereft, you could be feeling like you're you're dirty and you're you're not uh, you're you know, unclean and blah, 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 blah. But, but as you grow spiritually, you know, you one block away is, um, things get nicer, things get better. And I'm just using that as a metaphor for moving from one street to another. Um, this is, uh, I just went this way just cause this mural popped up and this is a beautiful mural right there. Of women's uh, celebrating the, the roles of women in everything. And it has a lot of different cultures, different races. It's very beautiful. Not sure if some of this some of these are goddesses or or whatnot. What's I, I don't I, I don't know much about this I uh, at all with the symbi uh, uh, the symbol the symbols are, but I will say this, just my initial thing is, is the divine feminine, you know, the divine feminine is, is, is beautiful and needed for this, <laughs> for not only for awakening, but just for human existence to continue. You know, oh, oh, the the divine feminine has been, um, you know, taken a lot of abuse uh, uh, for thousands of years, right? Thousands of years, right? And right now, we're just recognizing that the divine feminine needs to be celebrated, right? And not only celebrated, but revered, revered. Right. And so for awakening, right, awakening, you need to connect to the divine feminine in you. Okay. 
if you're especially if you're a man you you, you uh you need to let go of the 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 logic let go of the doing right so those are very masculine traits and they do have a place right but to awaken you must connect to the feminine right and then you also also must have a much you need to have a healthy feminine energy in you after you awaken right because it's receptivity you're receptive i think i did also a video on on trying to awaken you're going like this you're 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 too do 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 you're tight you're not receptive that's feminine right i mean look just how beautiful this is they're they're caring and recepting and healing right it's just the healing presence, right? And and it's just beautiful. So, um, you know, you hear you the, the 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 divine masculine. You could hear it across the street. Is you could hear them doing construction, right? There's a little. You hear that? They're like drilling. They're like hammering things or uh, what, what's it called uh, the, the stapler gun or whatever so that's the divine masculine in action you know the buses making the buses you know traveling all that stuff doing doing building building and that has its place right if if we didn't have that divine masculine you know we wouldn't have buildings we wouldn't have these cities right but now we need to integrate it we need to integrate this beautiful divine feminine right with with the divine masculine right because our civilization has has tilted way too far to the uh, to the uh, divine masculine or the masculine <laughs> right so there's another shot of that building it's called the women's building and um, and then actually if you could see this up ahead you could see the fog so the fog is clearing. Okay, I shot a shot a video earlier today. It was foggy. Uh, uh, um. So the so as you awaken, the fog is going to be lifted. The fog gets lifted, right, and you see clearer, right. So the divine feminine. Oh, that was beautiful. So. I just saw an interesting sign here. Watch, watch both ways before you cross. And this is a great sign. We are all in this together. We are all in this together. See that? We are all in this together. We are all in this together, right? We're all in this together, and, and yet we, we, we act like we are all separate. We are all in this separated, and it's dog eat dog, and I need to get mine, and, uh, you know, screw the other people, and I have, you know, and you create enemies, and, um, and you have judgments on, on others and, uh, you know, all that blah, 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 all that egoic stuff, all that separation consciousness. But we're all in this together, right? And here, this is actually interesting. Well, first of all, I lo love the flowers back there. So that's higher level of consciousness. It's awakening purple. And, and what's, how's one of the way you, you get, you, um, 
reach that, oops, right there, is you get rid of that. What's that? That's baggage. That's luggage. That's baggage. That's your baggage. That's your past. In and think thinking about the future, worrying about the future, and still conditioned and still um, upset about the past. You've got baggage, right? And and you need to get rid of it. <laughs> you need to get rid of the, your baggage. I think a, a good maybe a good meditation is getting out some luggage right now and and you know grabbing a shirt you know getting some old clothes and just be like okay this is this is this past thing that happened that i'm still upset this is this past thing you know that's a shirt and then this pants is this thing that i'm i'm still upset at my parent for this i'm still upset for my sibling for this i'm still upset at a you know, co-worker for this. I'm still upset what happened 30 years ago with this. I'm still, you know, blah, 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 all that baggage. And also, in the future, I want this to have, you know, this this t-shirt represents, in the future, I want this to happen, you know. And, and the, these pair of shorts is another future thing. And it's like all that baggage. All that baggage is keeping you from seeing your true eternal self. It's it keeps on getting in the way of knowing your truth, right? So you got to get rid of the baggage. Toss the baggage, and it's hard. I know it's hard, and and it takes um, it takes time. It takes time to get rid of the baggage. You know. But that's something you have to do if you want to be free. If you want to be free, you got to get rid of the baggage. You got to, oh, I love this sign. Look at that sign. You got to keep this space clear, right? You got to keep this space clear. And that's a great a sign for keeping this space clear you know keeping your your in yourself clear right keeping it clear and how do you do that you be present you're present with what is your radical acceptance of the now, right? Radical acceptance of the now. And then the sun comes out, right? You keep it clear and uh, <laughs> the sun's trying to peek through the fog. You see, we're all in the, when you're asleep, you're in the fog of egoic consciousness. And when you, when you let go, when you die to yourself, when you are no self, you're just the infinite, eternal, unconditional love with no divisions in you, then, then the sun comes out, right? The sun. Oh, I think, think I see a little blue sky. And the sun comes out. The cloud, the fog dissipates. So yeah, so mission. What's your mission? I think this is... System mission. I'm not sure. This is... Uh, I see a... I see something there, the church, the mission. Yeah. So your mission. That reminds me of this, uh, there's that movie that's called Mission Impossible. 
right? It's a, it was an old TV sh- series first, right? It's called Mission Impossible. And for some of you, you might feel that that awakening or enlightenment is an impossible mission, right? That it's that maybe you have been meditating for years, five years, 10 years, maybe even 20 years. You've been doing a lot of spiritual practices and it just seems that, and you haven't had an awakening yet. Um, and it, it could seem frustrating and it could seem like it's impossible, but it's not, it's not impossible. Your time will come. And, and it's here right now. It's here right now. The mission is here right now, right? The mission, I, I'm not, I think that was the mission. Let's see. Mission High School. There's a name right there. It says Mission High School. So, so after you have an awakening, um, you you do. It, it, it there is like the growth. Um, there is like levels of growth. Like I'm definitely very different um, than the first couple years of my uh, uh, my awakening. You know, different even from uh, a year ago, two years ago. You know, um, so there is growth. It's almost like you do you have to go back to school in a way because you have to relearn you. Well, first of all, you have you, you you have to learn then how it, it how to it's called integration phase the integration phase. So you have to um, it, it 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 takes. That's why you need teachers. It, it's it's sort of difficult at times to get your bear, bearings right and to learn certain truths about yourself, especially the ones that are unsavory and things that you uh, don't want to look at, right? And then also acting in the world of form, it take you know, um, and I'm still learning how to do it. Uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to act from my truth as best as I can. Oh, shoot. Oh. Great. Great. So, um, okay. So the battery is going down on my phone. So hopefully... So, so I'm still learning. So, so there's a, there's, it almost feels like you go through different class, you know, but it's not linear. It's, it, it's, it's like, um, it's just, it's just a trip. It's just a, it's just the wildest process that you will ever go through (laughs) is the awakening process and the integration process. Okay. So this is. This is actually the mission. So, the mission. So this is like sanctuary, this is sacred. So everything is sacred. Everything is sacred. Everything what you do is sacred. But the, the ego, you know, thinks going to church or going to a meditation, uh, a retreat, 
or, you know, doing certain mantras or prayers or kirtans or what, uh, whatever, you know, prayers, whatever he thinks that's sacred, but going to work, going on the bus, you know, doing the mundane things, you know, doing the laundry, doing the dis dishes, that's all sacred. That's all, that's all part of your mission, right? Everything, everything is part of your mission. It's part of your service to your sacred self and to the world. Look at that. There you go. That's the mission. So this is the uh, mission Dolores in San Francisco. You can see the blue sky on that door mural. That's nice. So, so the blue sky, when, as you awaken, you become clearer. We'll keep this in the background a little. See, look at that mission. So what's your mission? And then ask yourself, as you awaken and as you integrate, so, so what, what's, how are you going to serve? Are you going to, are you going to be a mission that's helpful for others? Right? A bodhisattva. In whichever way. I don't know. I mean, you know, doing these videos, that's my bodhisattva right now. But I, there are other things that I do or and would like to do that are, are is part of it. So, um, so that's the mission. And then the sun comes out. The sun is coming out. That's great. All right. Sun is coming out. So, so your mission. So, Mission Street. There are two missions. One is to awaken. If you're watching this channel, and um, you're 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 probably awakening, or there's something in you that wants to awaken. So that's your mission. And and uh, uh, don't give up. Don't give up. Keep 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 at it. We are here for you, everyone. All the teachers or people who are sharing their awakening experience are there for you, right? And and we are here for even those who haven't awake or who don't want to awaken yet, because uh, they might not in this lifetime, or they it, the urge isn't here here yet, and then maybe in a ne uh, another year or two years, or they might have an awakening in five years or whatnot. We don't know. But we're all here for you, right? And so, so the, the first one is the mission, and it's not a mission impossible. It's a mission that is very possible. And number two is after you awaken, and especially after you you heal, what is your, how is your enlightened life going to look like, right? And there's n and there is. There's no cookie cutter thing. There's no like, oh, I think this person should be like this. I think this, an enlightened person is this. No, no, you don't know. You don't know, right? I mean, there are certain attributes where, you know, you, you don't want to harm others. You don't, you don't feel the need for competition. There's no judgment. You don't create enemies, you know, all that stuff, right? But how it looks, everyone's going to be different. In, in certain regards so 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 consult your heart right I think that there was a sign earlier that said something about follow your heart consult your heart and spread the joy right I think that was on it they did a sign to spread the joy and your mission will be revealed and um, I'm looking forward to seeing your mission, feeling your mission. You know, if even if I never uh, see it uh, in the world of form, uh, I will. I will feel it energetically. We will. There's a collective energy out there that's growing and growing and growing. That's why the more people awaken, 
that energy field is going to become bigger. And, and it's like almost as if we all, all the awakened people are missions onto themselves, but we're moving around, right? So, all right. So we made it. So great. So, so thanks for watching. And, um, mission, mission. So, so, so thank you. Ooh, and then you reach the summit. See that sign right there? You reach the summit. So thanks for watching. And, uh, we, until we meet again next time in the mission of the now.